Endeavor thing to me was always the one that I thought made the most sense because of the UFC piece and because of Endeavor now having this track record of letting the UFC do what they do best. And now they have this live event business that is really carrying their company. So to then bring on the other business that pretty much does the same thing to further carry the, the Endeavor brand, it made a lot of sense to me, but you kept hearing Ari go on uh, these these shows and every time he was interviewed, just saying, no, you know, it's not in our wheelhouse. They're a great company, but this debt thing. And so they put together this acquisition where there's no cash down, so they don't have to take on this giant amount of, of debt. Uh, and And it seems like for all parties involved, like this was a fantastic acquisition. For WWE and for Vince McMahon, this dude gets put right where he wanted to be the entire time. And, you know, maybe for the fans, we'll, we'll have to wait and see about how that works with uh, if Vince is truly back in creative and creative and heading the whole thing like supposedly he was last night. But, man, what a win-win deal it seems for Endeavor and WWE here. Yeah, Um you know, a couple of weeks ago, we were doing a show and I, I didn't think Endeavor was the front runner based on, you know, everything I was seeing on the financial side of things. Um, I, I did speak to somebody at WWE yesterday morning, uh, early yesterday morning. So it was probably they were still in L.A., probably like, uh oh, I'm in the Matrix. Do you see this happening? Oh, there we go. More April, back. F- more April Fool's, I think. No, that was not an April Fool's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there. John, are you doing it? Um, I, I spoke to him probably, so it's probably like 7 a.m. Monday morning, L.A. time. And, you know, I was just asking a couple questions, like who else was involved in this? Because early on in this negotiation, I remember Nick Khan was on CNBC and whoever the analyst was essentially told Nick that Comcast was not involved. Was out. Yeah. Was out. And it, it almost was shocking to me because they were really the the media conglomerate that would have been a player. So yeah. I brought that up. I was like, hey, listen, I'm like, you know, who was involved in this negotiation? I'm like, you, you, obviously, some of the some of the names you're not going to name, especially the private equity groups. But from what was you know alluded to me in many ways and one was said flat out, uh, Liberty Media was a major front runner in this. Liberty Media owns the F. What was it F1 they own? Yeah. Yeah. F1 and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, and I found that Atlanta Braves considering Atlanta Braves. Yeah, they have like 40 percent of the Braves or something like that. Um, Liberty Media was a front runner, and th- by their indication, and they didn't they didn't name names. They said there were many other media conglomerates that were very interested, along with a bunch of private equity groups. Uh, I had initially hold the Qatar- heard that the Qataris were invest uh, interested in investing in this. Obviously, the Saudis we heard about. I still believe that the Saudis were. A front run until the end. I, I think until Vince realized he could get nine billion dollars for this, it was leaning towards a private equity group or maybe Liberty Media. A lot of the other options here has to do with Vince and what they were going to do with him. You know, th- this is uh, Vince is essentially more powerful than he was. Uh, you know, six months ago, he came back to the company. He came back in a very quiet role, and now he's back. And he's the executive. uh, What's his official title here? uh, He is right underneath Ari, uh, Ari, and I think he's just executive chairman. And then underneath him is Executive chairman, yeah. And then on the other side is, uh, on the UFC side, it's Mark Shapiro, and then Dana is underneath Mark Shapiro. So... I did ask one interesting thing, and it, it was said to me in a in a, v- a very corporate way. I said, listen, I'm looking at the structure. Obviously, we know that Nick Khan is in the WWE lane here, right? We know Nick is in WWE. We know that Dane is not going to get involved in the WWE stuff. He's the president of UFC. Is Vince involved on the anything with the UFC side? And the answer was not no, but it wasn't yes. It was more of yes, this new company, the way that the positioning is, he is the uh, chairman of the board, executive chairman of of the new company, whatever it's going to be, and that oversees the entire company. Ticker symbol, TKO, by the way. What you think of that ticker ticker symbol? Yeah. Do you know why it's not KO? What do you mean? 
It's not KO because Coca-Cola owns KO. Oh, and Coca-Cola is KO because C belongs to Chrysler. There you go. I went down this whole rabbit hole yesterday, <laughs> but Vin, I mean, technically it was said that, listen, Vince is going to stay in his lane. He's going to be on the WWE side of operations. He's not really involved in the UFC. However, on paper, he can be, which is very interesting to me. I thought that's why Shane came back. Because remember when Shane tried to talk Vince Wanted into buying the UFC? Pride? I know. I know. That <laughs> poor guy. He got his WrestleMania payday, though. <laughs> Shane, man. It's happening, Shane. dude. The, 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 do you see this? This camera's acting crazy. It's QTV. QTV's happening. What do you think of this? Garrett, like, honestly, do you... Uh, I think UFC's going to change more than WWE's going to change at this point. How so? Uh, I, this is my, no, no, I have no indication that this is happening. This is only my personal opinion. Uh, the prideification of UFC, I see it happening. I see you bigger, think? grander really? entrances. Yeah, I see it happening. I, th I think, that, I, you know, Ari, that could be a plus though, right? Listen, to me, it's a plus. I was a big pride fan to a lot of USC purists, especially Dana White. He didn't want that. He didn't want the spectacle. He wanted to be a big fight. But we're seeing what Showtime Boxing does or DAZN does with certain boxing fights. Mm -hmm, we see mm -hmm. what Ryzen has done with their mixed martial arts or whatever, you know, hybrid style that they're doing. Uh, you know, maybe it is time for WWE to kind of step it up. Wouldn't it be right up UFC's alley to put together a mega show like WWE did with WrestleMania? This was the biggest, uh, the most disconnected pro wrestling show from wrestling that I had ever seen. As far as presentation goes, this was not presented as a pro wrestling product. This was presented as, you know, the MTV movie awards, uh, the Oscars. It was grander than life. This was a full fledged entertainment production rather than it being a wrestling show. I see UFC seeing that. I see Ari especially seeing that and saying, wow, why aren't we doing this? Why aren't we doing 80,000 person buildings for UFC main events if we can? I, I think that's going to be the biggest change. Well, UFC 300 will be probably sometime around this time next year. And that would be a reason to do a giant presentation, like kind of like you said. Uh, the one thing about UFC, though, they, they do like the sports atmosphere. And they have always, not always, but they try to lean away from any idea that there's any pro wrestling predetermined results involved, right? Like that is one thing that they've consistently done is like, nope, we you need to separate ourselves from that because we don't want people thinking that we do uh, predetermined stuff. But I would enjoy some of this stuff with the UFC where, you know, maybe Conor McGregor's next fight, you know, he does a, a giant introduction. And, and uh, I, I guess if you're if you're thinking about um, the one that I would compare it to, and I don't I don't even know if you if you know this one, uh, Deontay Wilder, I believe was the first time he fought Tyson Fury. He came out with this like heavy suit to uh, to the to the live audience. And by the time he got to the ring, he was exhausted because of, you know, the endorphin rush. But also this suit was kind of heavy. <laughs> So his legs were kind of shot early in the fight from what I remember. And once you kind of take your eye off the ball when it comes to that presentation part of it, then by the time you get in the ring, that could be bad news or in, in the cage yeah. in the UFC. So there are things that they can do, though, because if you watch a UFC show, almost every show, no matter if it's in a giant arena or if it's in a big building or if it's in a small building, it generally looks the same. And I think they do that specifically because, you know, they have their way to present fighting and, and it's done well for them. But if they added a little flair here and there, I would I would be into it. I think it would help. But as long as it didn't affect the performance of the fighters, because I think that's the key. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to affect the performance of the fighters. I, I do think that they are probably going to get a little bit more into the, the show of, of it all. The other thing I definitely see happen again, this is only my my opinion based on, you know, my experience in, in this in this bubble. You know, you, let's say you're Conor McGregor, right? Or or give give me somebody else. Um, Mas, uh, Masvidal is fighting, right? This weekend. Yeah, he's fighting this weekend. 
you know that he has a pro wrestling interest for sure. Mm -hmm. Let's say he's signing his final couple fight deal with you guys. You know that he maybe has two fights left. But you know what? You could piggyback that with a two-year deal with W two two appearance deal with WWE and do something high profile there. You're go I, I see more crossover with that than I do with WWE guys heading over to UFC. Obviously, you sure. know because it takes a lot more. Or, or uh, uh, Colby, Colby Covington. He's another guy that would go there. Uh, Conor McGregor, they could figure out something and do some sponsorship deals.